Hey everyone, welcome back to the Goff House. If you've been here before, if you're new, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. I'm Jenny and today I am making hoagie rolls. This is one of those basics videos that I was talking about. Uh, this is kind of the first in the series, but I'm gonna go ahead and put on the playlist my tortilla recipe, um, my white bread recipe, things like that, just basics. So I guess this is my first one in the series in 2022. Hoagie rolls, yes. So instead of running out to the store to buy them, we've all stocked flour hopefully in our pantries or we've got Wonder Mills or some kind of grain mill to make our flour and wheat berries, whatever it is you like to use and bake with. I'm gonna make some white hoagie rolls because tonight we are having sandwiches and I'm actually gonna do a video on that for you separate, so I'm not saying what it is. <laughs> but we're gonna make some homemade hoagie rolls. Why? Because they're basic and they are easy. Let's get started. In my bowl, I am putting in two cups of warm water. To that, I am going to add four teaspoons of yeast. This is instant yeast. Over that, I am going to sprinkle four teaspoons of granulated sugar. I'm gonna stir this up. I'm just gonna let this sit here for about five minutes. I am gonna go ahead and put in four cups of bread flour. And then I will add the last cup slowly as needed. One tablespoon of kosher salt. I'm going to do three tablespoons of vegetable oil. And one egg. This is a room temperature egg. Dough hook. Putting it on two. And then the last cup kind of going in. I'm going to turn this down to one now. Slowly. You want to slowly incorporate that fifth cup. I'm going to turn my timer on for eight minutes and let this go for eight minutes. This dough is going to be softer. It will stick to the bottom of the bowl. Okay, my eight minutes are up. I'm going to turn this off. This is what I mean by the dough being super, super soft. I am going to sprinkle over a little more flour. And I'm going to scrape this from the bottom. You can roll this dough out on your countertop and knead it on your countertop. I never do that. I do it right in this bowl. And I'm just going to knead it for about 30 seconds more right in this bowl. I just want to make sure I get this into a nice ball here. Here I have a bowl that I've put some oil in the bottom. I'm gonna do the top around here. And then the bottom. Okay, I've run my towel under a little hot water. I'm gonna put it over my bowl. And I'm gonna go ahead and put this in my oven with the light on. One and a half hours for that to rise. So when that happens, I'll be back. My dough has risen.
my slightly floured surface. I'm dumping my dough out here and I've just got bread flour. Um, I'm going to divide this into like a, a square. Yep, probably not going to be even. I'm terrible at making stuff even here. Okay, now that those are uh, divided into quarters, I am going to cut the quarters in half and I'm going to move my pieces over to the side here. If all my um, buns aren't exactly the same size, I, I don't mind. If you want them the same exact size, you can always get your scale out and weigh them out. Okay. I'm gonna take my rag, my dough rag, and just keep those covered so they don't dry out. And on my little surface here, I'm gonna press this into a rectangle. So I just wanna kind of roll this in inward. I'm gonna tuck my ends in here. and I'm gonna place it on a tray. Next, same exact thing here. Tuck the ends in. This is super easy, and once you start making them yourself, you're of course never gonna want to go purchase them again. The main reason I do is because I am I hate having to go purchase something that I know darn well I can make myself. Sure, if you're in a time crunch, absolutely. But and not to mention, homemade bread is always best, right? Okay, so I am just going to keep going until I have my trays full. Here are my hoagie rolls. I have just put them on um, my cookie sheet that I have my Silp Hat or Amazon brand Silp Hat, I guess. Reusable baking sheet, I guess we should probably call it. You can use parchment paper if you need to. I'm just going to cover these guys up. I am going to put them back into my oven with my light on and let them rise again. These are gonna take between an hour and an hour and a half. We want them big, nice rolls. And you wanna keep them about three inches spaced on your sheet. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put these guys into my 350 degree oven for about 20 to 25 minutes. All right, they are out of the oven 25 minutes. Delicious. As soon as they cool off, I will cut into one for you.
Okay, here is our bread. This one's a little bit smaller than the other one, so I'm gonna cut into this. I'm just gonna cut it in half here, but uh, if you're using it for a sub, you're gonna probably wanna cut it down the middle. But look at that. It smells so yummy. That's all there is to making your own hoagie rolls. Anytime you wanna make sandwiches or subs, oh my gosh, this recipe is so easy and so good. Oh, by the way, look how soft, look how soft these hoagie rolls are. Oh yeah, yum. Tonight, I am making sandwiches for dinner. I have that video coming up for you a little bit later. Anyway, folks, next time you're gonna make sandwiches, try this recipe out. A Little bit of rising time, but it's super easy. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. It really helps me out a lot, and I sure do appreciate your support. You can find me on Instagram at JennyGoff18. I'm also on Facebook, and you can visit my blog for all of my recipes at JennyGoff.com. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.